and it's a very nice way to spend an evening here. It's also a nice way to spend a winter if you're a racehorse or a trainer or a driver. Now we're going to talk a little bit with Delvin Miller about how people started coming to Florida to train. My first sojourn to the south was in uh, 38. I went to Piners. And boy, I thought it was heaven in Piners. Then I came on further to uh, Orlando and finally ended up down here. Uh, it really uh, started, the owners liked it. Back in the old days, I see all the old papers, Mr. Harriman would go down there and they'd all play golf. Back in those days, even the, the big trainers were all golfers. Now they don't have time enough to play golf. It's a complicated business moving a racing stable south. Not just horses, but people and equipment have to be moved. Most trainers, though, believe the move is worth the occasional difficulties. Get them on a regular schedule and go most every day, whereas in the north, uh, you want to run into the weather problem, uh, cold weather, snow, frozen race tracks, and uh, I think the frozen hard surface of the racetrack is probably uh, the number one problem uh, training young horses in, in the north. Uh, we don't miss so many days of training. Uh, you know, the weather is very good down here uh, most of the time. Uh, of course, it rains a lot, but uh, anyway, we don't miss so many days of training, plus the fact that uh, the weather is constant uh, in the temperature. Up north, you have so much of changes with the rain, snow, or something in between and uh, that causes a lot of throat problems that uh, we definitely don't need and, and the horses are very sensitive when we are down to a certain speed with them so uh, we're very glad to be down here every winter I hope it uh, can stay so forever because uh, the horses really needs it in my opinion and now we have also seen with some Scandinavian trainers that has been up north all winter and with their material, they have not been ahead of us when we come up. Well, if you send one up in the middle of the winters, which sometimes they'll do, they'll get one ready and send them up to the Meadowlands meeting, he'll lose a second or two when he goes up. You know, it's a difference in the climate, just like yourself. You've got to have warmer clothes and everything. You'll lose a little that way, but some of them don't. They uh, Sometimes we'll ship out of here when you get a little cold spell, and that helps too. Uh, coming down, you'll get a little sickness. You'll pick up any sickness around, and the uh, horse lose a little bit of uh, vitality when they're shipping because it's it's a tough ship for put a colt right out of a horse sail and bring them down here a thousand mile on a truck. They get tired. The old there's an old axiom: wet weather and wet weather and lazy trainers make good race horses. And that week or two, that gives them a rest from all this strenuous training, and it don't hurt them really. <laughs> well, I think most of the trainers do stay and enjoy coming down during the winter. Well, Ben White, who was a trainer who started uh, Ben White Raceway in Orlando, Florida, crusty old trainer, he uh, had won four Hamiltonians. Ben White uh, once was asked a question whether it does any good or not. And White said, I don't know whether it does the horses a damn bit of good, but it's sure great for the trainers and the drivers. Well, I think the horses have to benefit as well. Although they are cold weather animals, we do sort of forget that. Well, they, think, they have to enjoy it as well. I think they benefit, but there is the question when you take them back north, the acclimation. They have to acclimate themselves to the situation up there. And as Del Miller indicated, sometimes they can do it rapidly and sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Of course, it's a business decision as well with uh, racing continuing through the winter at the Meadowlands with decent purses. The trainers and owners have to decide whether they want to enjoy the sunshine or make some money. And in New York City, too. Yes, indeed, the yes. Big purses at Roosevelt and Yonkers in New York as well and elsewhere. Uh, it's a question now of where you want to race uh, and where you want to get your horse ready. And whether you're dealing with a stakes horse, you have to give a horse some time off sometime in the year. Well, of course, the fans down here benefit when good horses are shipped down. And there is a big crowd here tonight at Pompano Park to enjoy these great three-year-old trotting fillies that are just ahead. We're going to take a short time out and then be back with more.